Okay, <clears throat> here we've got the ferrofluid, then we've got the ferrofluid suspended in uh, denatured ethyl alcohol, then we've got the ferrofluid again, the ferrofluid in 70% isopropyl rub rubbing alcohol, we've got the ferrofluid again, the ferrofluid in 100% methyl. We've got the ferrofluid in the ferrofluid in 99% isopropyl. Um, as you can see, uh, that looks like bad. That looks bad. Isopropyl, 99% isopropyl, total fail. Methyl. Looking pretty good. We can check methyl out in a second. Um, uh, iso seventy percent isopropyl actually better than ninety nine percent isopropyl, but still um, not very good. You can see a lot of it sticking to the sides there. And then here, then um, <clears throat> the uh, ethyl ethyl alcohol. You can see also, once again, while it's not that bad, it seems to be sticking to the sides of the container fairly okay, well. Okay, here you can see the electromagnet with the 100% uh, methyl. Um, it's really cool because if you pull the magnet away, the glass immediately becomes clean. Goes back, away, and we can. I'll pivot around here. And you can see that the glass is oh is yeah is almost perfectly clean. Here clear. is the electromagnet with the seventy percent isopropyl rubbing alcohol. As you can see, I can get great little spikies with this, but um, when I pull the magnet away, I also get quite a bit of cruft, and I can't get the mag the picture low enough that you can see. There you can see well there. I'm getting quite a bit of cruft stuck to the side of the glass. Uh, so I think the winner here is obviously the All right, methyl. Here alcohol. we're comparing. This is the methyl, 70% uh, methyl alcohol, 10% uh, or 30% water solution. Uh, this is the 100% methyl solution. And this is the 70% iso isopropyl um, solution. You can see that the isopropyl is actually performing better now, weirdly. After a couple minutes, you can see now almost all the drop-off happens. Boom. Um, this is still behaving well. The water is very yellow. I don't know if it's yellow, how fast it's yellowing. Maybe too fast. But the drop-off is great there. Here on the the set or the seventy percent methyl, um, you know it's working pretty well. We drop it off. Definitely some stickage. Like kind of the worst worst stickage of the three now. I'm gonna see if that improves with time too. Alright, here we go. Uh updating a couple of hours later we get some interesting results. The ethyl alcohol and has turned and ferrofluid has turned into a kind of weird more like iron acting just like iron filings now seems to have completely separated its uh, kerosene component from or whatever the other component is so total no-go on that uh, I 70 percent isopropyl the cheapest and easiest thing to get in the entire world uh, is still doing remarkably well I can aim the camera um, you know, it sticks to the glass ever so slightly, lower the angle, sticks to the glass ever so slightly, but really not that bad. Um, 99% isopropyl, pff, don't even bother with that, God, that's just a mess. Um, here is the, this is the really interesting one, this is the 100% methyl, and it has turned into just a, a solid mass on the bottom. What an hour ago seemed to be the best solution 
has totally d turned into nothing. And here we have the um, interesting the mix the 70% uh, methyl alcohol 30% uh, water solution and it's still behaving pretty well looks pretty good actually you know nice big kinda hairy spikes looks good the water is nice and clear more clear than any of the other uh, solutions alrighty